Greetings YouTubers, so today I'm going to be reviewing Chris R's Bits and Bytes 124th scale, they're about 1-2 to two inches. These were kindly donated by him, so a massive thank you. The link to the store where you can buy yourself some of these is at the bottom of the video. And his Flickr page is Chris Ross, and you can follow him on Twitter at Chris R. All these links will be below, so definitely go check him out. He's also sent me a little card, I'm not sure if this is a future release or something. But there are some interesting bots on this. Or maybe these are like limited edition things that are throughout the series. Variant type things. So there's some information for you. And the product is the Bits and Bytes. Again, I'm becoming a big fan of this header card thing. Um, I collect the boxes from all my toys. And as you can imagine, it takes up a lot of room. So header cards are fantastic in my opinion. And I wish that more artists would do it. So, Bits Bites, handmade, which is just nuts when you look at these. Your favourite bots, bite size to 124th scale. In the back, we have basically all the different bots. And I'll just make sure we're in focus there. So, multicoloured versions of the original robot designs by London based artist Chris Ross. His website is chrisross.co.uk and chrisross.bigcartel.com is his store. So, go check them out. The price for these are. $22.50 for a set of three like this and that's uh, various colours and stuff uh, free colours, random sculpts etc $22.50 palette, velvet, cupcake, light pack three specific colours, random sculpts and then for $55 you've got your palette, velvet, cupcake full set one of each sculpt, one of each colour plus two bytes of random colour selection no two sets are the same so there's just so much there for you to choose from. So for $22.50, you can get the Palette Velvet Cupcake Light Pack or the Palette Velvet Cupcake Dark Pack. And then for $55, you can get a combination of the two. Pretty decent pricing if you ask me, considering these are handmade. So let's get into these because they are pretty amazing, as you can see already. Um, I have my knife and I'm probably going to ruin the header card on this. I did almost do this with my 3A JDF Armstrong. Though they are pretty easy to open these ones. So, oh, and as I say that, the last one decides it's not gonna be as easy. Okay, so, there we are, so, if we just, so all three are individually bagged and then the inside is just a little crown. Pretty cool. So, here we are, these are the three individual versions and do apologise if these have got character names because I just don't know them. Uh, let's start with the purple one then, so let's open these up. How are we for time because I have a five minute thing on this camera. Okay, so in fact let's just open them all and then I'll quickly re start re-recording on the camera and we shall take a closer look at these. They feel really nice, by the way. They, for handmade sculpts, no, like I've, I can't remember who it was, but I got sent, I think I won it actually. I got sent some that someone sculpted, and it was really rough on the hands, so. So, sorry about the drum cut, guys. So, I've just quickly lined them up so you can see the different heights that are going on here. So, the purpley, light purple colored one is the highest, then the orange, and then the green. And they do work on a shelf as that height because if you can see it's kind of like a slope down I kind of like the different heights of these it makes it more interesting than just all the same height uh, if we take a look at these individually so if we just put these two to the side so I don't keep knocking them over okay let's get this guy in focus and as you can see on the front so on the front he's got his crown um, He's sculpted on the head, on the side, on the back, and on the side. And then his feet are well, kind of like crosses. Um, sculpt wise, yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, I don't know if this is intentional, but it looks like there's dust that is stuck to this. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera's going to be able to pick that up. There's also glue. Um, where it's shining and that's the glue. Now I don't know if this is just my 
batch or if this is with most of them but you can't really argue for the size of these I mean it must be a right nightmare to get these perfectly sculpted or perfectly painted so yeah there is a, a bit of scuffing and it I'm, I don't know it might be dust I don't know if this is intentional so it's meant to look a little aged and a little worn but there you go guys and yeah really nice um, I mean I'm not too fussed about the glue and the dirt to be honest because you don't really notice it unless you've got tons of lights up when you're making videos if you if you're in a room that's lit just by windows I'm guessing you're not really going to notice it unless you're holding it right to your face but I thought I'd point that out that on this one there is a bit of dirt and a bit of scuffing and it falls over because I dusted my desk this morning the second one which is the smallest one the green one yeah I'm, as you know they slip if you've got a polished desk or shelf so just be warned on the front of this one on the side on the back on the side and as you can see you know dropping them knocking them over and there's no damage to these whatsoever on this one no dust stuck to it in fact the green one is the cleanest one of them all as you can see if I just make sure we're definitely in focus so on the front you see there's, if we're just trying to shine in the light there isn't really any glue to speak of I think that the biggest one there's a lot of it because it's a bigger area this one's a lot smaller so yeah this one's the cleanest out of the three when I looked at them and this is my favourite one just because it's green and I like the colour green and hard wearing so if they do fall off your shelf don't worry they're not going to break into a million pieces and they're not going to get damaged so let's look at the orange one and before we look um, there's tiny bits of glue leakage and there's a bit of dust but apart from that this is really clean as well so it's just the big purple one that's got a lot of dirt a lot of dust or the glue residue and stuff I'm not sure if that's intentional again or an accident during the manufacture of these but you can't really argue for $25 when you're getting three of them and only one of them's got it I mean I've had figures that have shown up pretty badly scuffed dunnies for instance and you pay a tenner for each of those so you know so there you go guys that's the review of the bits and bites by Chris Ross again a massive thank you for the donation and letting me review your products um, I'm forever grateful if you want to get yourself some of these $22.50 and link for that will be at the bottom of the screen also check out his website follow him on Twitter to get the latest information on what he's releasing and stuff like that and as always guys, thank you for watching the video, feel free to subscribe, feel free to like, feel free to follow me on Twitter, feel free to like the Facebook page, and as always, I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.